Hello again. We're doing geometric sequences, uh, particularly finding the means. What I mean by that is uh, the geometric means, pardon me. We did one where we found the arithmetic means before when we did that kind of sequence. Well now, we've got a number, and we got a number over here, and I'm telling you it's geometric. So you don't have to like, you know, say, oh, I don't know. No, I'm telling you it's geometric. Uh, I want you to figure out the three numbers in the middle and see what they are. Uh, what's interesting though is I want to make this example very interesting. Some people think they get the answer right without even thinking about it, but you got to be careful here. So what I want to do is use this formula, a sub n equals a sub 1, r, n minus 1. And I'm trying to fill in as much as I can. So clearly, let's see if I can. Uh, I know my a sub 1 is 2 because my first term in the sequence is 2. Okay, got that. I don't know my r. I want to fill in something for my a sub n because it's going to make the problem so much easier if I do. And what I'm going to do is, well, I can't put in this term because that's my a sub 1. So I'm going to put in this term right here, 32. So that's my first, second, third, fourth, fifth, a sub n. So it's actually a sub 5. That's what I'm going to substitute in for the n. So that's 5 minus 1 because my n was 5. Now, it still doesn't really help me out that much because I want to figure out my r, and I don't know my r. So I want to make sure that this is actually something tangible. It's a number. A sub 5, fifth term. Great. Put in a number for it, and then it's going to be easier. My number is 32. Five minus one is four. Figure out what r is. Now what you do here is you divide by two. And you get 16 equals r to the fourth. If you want to figure out r, what you do is you take the fourth root on this side. You know, like if you want to take the square root, if it's r squared, that's fine. But if it's r to the fourth, you've got to take the fourth root. So you've got to take the fourth root. So basically, and this problem does come out pretty easily, or pretty easy, is what number times itself, times itself, times itself is 16? Well, 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. So the answer is 2. The answer could also be negative 2. If you take the square root of something, you've got to account for both its positive and negative. If you take the fourth root of something, you've got to account for both the positive and negative. If you take the even root of a number, make sure that you account for both the positive and negative. As soon as you're saying, eh, I don't know what you're talking about, that don't make sense. Well, I'll explain it. The common ratio is 2, which means I'm multiplying 2 each time. So if I multiply 2, 4, multiply 2, 8, multiply 2, 16. But I can also multiply negative 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Mm, can you see that? Maybe you can, I'm just making a big deal, but I'll go ahead and write it here. How many blank spots was that? 3. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Multiplied by negative 2, and it's 8. Multiplied by negative 2, it's negative 16. Multiplied by negative 2, and it will equal 32. So in that case, you actually have two sets. One could be 4, 8, and 16. The other could be negative 4, 8, and negative 16. And that's something that you have to watch out for. That's why it's like that all-encompassing problem. That's actually pretty cool. Um, that said, I hope you found that helpful. Uh, we're going to have to move on past geometric sequences, but for right now, have a great day. Goodbye.